Hi, gorgeous, and welcome to the weekly angel reading with me, Rachel Skulltalk, Angel Medium. And this week we're doing the reading for the whole week, 22nd of May, all the way through to the 29th. Now, the energy is really strong still at the moment. And so if you're feeling it, whether it's in the positive or the negative, don't worry, this too shall pass. If there are stressful situations showing themselves to you, recognize that this is an opportunity to really see what needs to change and try to step back from it. Know that definitely this is only temporary, that you're not going to have to still be doing this in six months time or a year's time. But the angels really want you to get the message that what you're being shown is just that something needs to change. There's something in your life that is out of balance, out of alignment. Perhaps it's just something that needs to be said or admitted to yourself so that you can move through this moment if it's stressful. All right. So we're working this week with Archangel Jeremiah, Archangel Michael, and the Guardian Angels because we're still in the month of May and we were working with the whole angelic team this month, the, the Guardian Angels in particular. So we're going to ask the angels and archangels who are gathered to protect this session, to make sure that everyone here is covered in beautiful white light and that any lower energies that are released today just go out of the room, out of our energy and into the divine source to be transmuted. And may the energy for this session come from the divine source and not from my energy or your energy, that it just comes from that highest frequency of all. And we thank you, angels, for bringing us together and for bringing about a peaceful, loving week. We ask that you go ahead of us and clear away all obstacles, shrink any problems, and bring everything down to a manageable size. And if possible, just release it completely. We surrender to you any issues that we don't know what to do with, anything that feels too big or too stuck. We ask you to take it and to heal it. And we thank you, angels, for guiding us and protecting us and bringing about a loving, peaceful, prosperous, supported week for everyone here and in the replay. And so it is. Amen. So now the angels are with us. We're going to start asking for their guidance. Now I'm using this deck, which is the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. And this gorgeous deck by lovely John Holland, who is um, the best. And this is his Psychic Tarot deck. So let's start with the angels and we'll bring some extra cards in with the psychic tarot. And thank you, Archangel Jeremiah, Michael and the guardian angels gathered for giving us a clear message about what we most need to know this week, the 22nd of May. So the angels are showing me big energy waves and don't be worried. It's not scary. It's a good energy. It's coming in like big waves rolling in the sea. But each wave is bringing an energy that you need. So think about what energy do you need this week? Do you want more peace? Do you want help with your business? Do you want um, healing for a family member? Do you want protection? Do you need vitality and energy to get through things? Do you need courage and confidence? Just imagine that wave just washing over you and just giving you the energies, the influences that you most need. Maybe you need extra money to pay some bills or to go on holiday. What is it? And know that the universe has it. And if you just have the courage and the openness to ask, it will come. It will come. All right. So what do the angels have to say to us this week for the 22nd to the 29th of May, 2023? It's funny, as soon as I saw those waves and I started talking about them, I can see them in different colors. I'm seeing a red wave, I'm seeing a yellow, I'm seeing a green. So someone here needs healing right now for their body and that, that's coming through very strongly and perhaps even for addictions as well. Okay, so the first card out today, this is setting the, the scene. This is the card of Archangel Michael and it's known as the ego card. Now. Don't be afraid. It's okay. What Archangel Michael is saying is that he's helping you to break the chains to patterns of sabotage that are holding you separate from the things that you really want in your life. So we all have an ego. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Like 
it's annoying, but we all have one. And if we didn't have it, then we probably wouldn't have the motivation to do things. And we probably also, it's part of our learning, right? We're here to learn. We're on, I, it's earth school. So if there is a situation where you feel stuck, trapped, powerless, completely at a loss about what to do, never fear Archangel Michael is here. He has this sort of light and he's letting you know that it's really your own thoughts and your own limiting beliefs that are keeping you in this pattern. And sometimes other people too, right? If you're around, if you're in a situation with people and there's a lot of conflict, everyone is feeling powerless. They're all fighting for their corner. They're not realizing that there is always a divine solution. Use that as your affirmation. There is always a divine solution. So you are being freed this week from situations, addictions, limiting beliefs, sabotage, self-sabotage, negative ideas that are keeping you stuck. So what if you were to just look at your situation differently, step back from it and go, okay, I know there's a path out of here and it's a good one. And I know that I'm not really stuck. It's just the way I'm looking at it. So Archangel Michael will help you by cutting the cords and breaking those patterns that, that are not helping you. So in some way, you have to take responsibility now. If you've been saying, I can't, I'm not good enough, this isn't going to work for me, you have to take responsibility for what you're saying to yourself. You have to change the way you're, you're thinking about things. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So stop blaming everyone. Stop saying you're not good enough. Stop victimizing yourself and change it around. Okay. I'm not saying that sometimes people can be horrible. Sometimes people can do mean things to us. They can do horrible things to us. But you are not a victim. You're a survivor. You are, you are not powerless. The angels are giving you back your power right now. Call on Archangel Michael for help. This could be blocking you. Another major arcana card. In fact, we've got three major arcana cards in one reading. That's amazing. This is Archangel Azrael, the angel of grief. Now, Azrael is one of the most beautiful, peaceful, loving angels. Did you ever come to the class I did with Archangel Azrael? There is a replay. He is the most loving, peaceful. And when you think the word angel, you know that white light and that love. He he just brings it on steroids. Like it's it's really powerful. So he's saying there's something that you need to let go of and you're hanging on to it so tightly because you're thinking you need it or you're thinking you can't let go of it. But when you let go of it, this is going to be the linchpin. It's like going to open the floodgates. It's going to move something that you have been wanting to move for a long time. So sometimes this is something I say to myself. It's the thing that you will not do. You know, when you say, I will never, or um, like, this is a, a long story, but to cut a long story short, years ago, I was really stuck, really overwhelmed, really stuck financially, stuck in my business, exhausted all the time. And I had these two horses and I loved them so very much. And I knew I had to let them go because I wasn't coping. I just wasn't coping with the cost of them, with the looking after them, with the amount of energy and time that they took. I didn't want to, didn't want to. The longer I held on to it, the harder it got. And in the end, I found a beautiful foster home for them. And it, gosh, it was hard to let them go. I still cry about it now, honestly. It's years later. But it was the best thing for me. A little lump in my throat. And it changed everything for me. Um, on a deep level, it helped me to move forward with my life, whereas before I was stuck. Sometimes we have to do the hard things. So there's something that you're holding on to. It might be something from the past that you're just clinging on to, lots of resentment, a grudge, <laughs> or um, feeling that like that one thing has changed you and you can't, you can't change. You can. There's something you need to let go of. And when you release it, everything is going to work out. The next, and it might be your ego. <laughs> It might be your ego. You might be thinking, I'm I'm not going to change. But you have to because life is ever changing. Then we have this guidance card, and I love this. Look at the earthiness of it. We have this gorgeous plowed field. We have the horse. He's standing on the ground in the, in the beautiful paddock, and he's looking at his plans. He's even got a coin. So this is all about being grounded, 
It's about recognizing that you have to get grounded. Sometimes you have to go to the um, out into nature. But it's almost like you've got to you've got a new beginning. You get a chance to wipe the slate clean, plant new seeds, make a new painting, write a new book, start a new chapter in your life. And the angels are looking after you. This is a guardian angel card. Funny how we invoke the guardian angels and here they are. It's asking you to make a plan for the next stage of your life. So it's okay for you to let go of something that's not working because something that is working is coming in. You can make a new plan and it's it's going to be fast forward, fast tracked. Everything is going to start moving. So this is a sign of a new beginning. It's guidance to make plans. It's guidance to have a strategy. It's guidance to get grounded. The outcome card. Now, I'm going to combine these two together because we've got the John Holland card, which is the Psychic Tarot, this gorgeous card, which is, look at that. Now that reminds me of the Hierophant, the High Priest, the um, the Magician. Like he's, he's manifesting something. He has magic coming into, oh, it's a, a lady, I think, or it's it's non-binary. We're called to think of Archangel Gabriel because of the lily. We've got this beautiful, um, seed that is is being planted something magical is going to come out of this week some something by you doing some releasing maybe you do a releasing ceremony you're you're manifesting something new you're connecting with the spiritual magician within you and it's powerful call on archangel gabriel sit in meditation tap into your intuition you know link into the angels and plant a seed out into the universe. And then we have this gorgeous accompaniment of the hermit, which is Archangel Raziel, who is the magician of the Archangel realm. You couldn't, you couldn't write about it, could you really? Um, and there's a fire, there's a lantern, there's the rainbow, which is, and there's the stars. And this is like a sacred moment. Perhaps you go out into nature and find a sacred place and speak to speak to your ancestors speak to the angels speak to your higher self and call in what it is that you want this is something that you're doing for you by you like it's it's your soul it's speaking from your soul so i'm seeing a beautiful peaceful end to the week i'm seeing you creating something magical I'm seeing you going off in a new direction that is going to bring abundance and, and new beautiful things to you. And I see you letting go of an aspect of you that doesn't work, isn't working for you anymore, and breaking the chains that are holding you in the illusion of being trapped, powerless, stuck. Isn't that beautiful? Angel blessings. I'm so happy that we did this reading today. Thank you, angels. Have a great week. Remember to ask your angels for help. Now, remember that the early bird special is now open only for a few more days for the psychic awakening achievement in June. I can't wait to do this one. We're going to be opening the third eye, working with the angels to open up your intuitive channels and get a get that clarity with your clairvoyance and your intuition. How exciting is that? So that's on sale right now for early bird. I'll put the link um, there for you or go over to my website and look up achievements and you'll be able to tap into that one. I'm sending you loads of love and angel blessings. Drop me a comment. What does this mean for you, this reading this week? And remember to call on your angels for help with everything. Sending you love. Take care.